Gary, I'm sure that wasn't what you were expecting from tonight. Just give us your thoughts. Yeah, I thought it was a good game for an hour. I thought we, we played well. We had moments to score. Uh, Arsenal had possession but weren't really hurting us. And then I just said to the players, when, when the game becomes difficult, then too often we, we make too many mistakes. We don't win enough duels. We don't hang in the game. We don't fight in those difficult moments. And when we lose one, it becomes, you know, what it became in the end. Uh, so we have to regroup. It's a, a difficult moment in the season. We all know that. Uh, first team players played tonight and, and some of them did well for me. They got minutes and, and kind of progressed where they are. Uh, when the academy players came on again, it was far too much. And, and we have to look at that as a football club and, and be better in, in those moments. Uh, so yeah, a lot, lot to take out from the game again, a lot to work on. We have a, a weekend off, which is, you know, massive for, for the team to, to work hard the rest of the week, give some days off, uh, and be prepared to come in, but be prepared to come in and fight because it's far too easy at the moment. We're nowhere near aggressive enough as a football team. And if you're not aggressive, you lose football matches heavily. It was a much stronger lineup than I think many of us did expect you to name tonight. Was that, as we discussed on Saturday, simply down to the fact that it's minutes for the players, given there's no game this weekend? Yeah, more minutes for players. It wasn't that much stronger than the last time. It, it uh, probably looked a bit stronger, uh, but we, we started, I think, with six, five or six players last time, first team. Uh, and we finished, obviously, with lots of academy players on the pitch, as we did the last time. And like I said, the first team players need to be better in lots of actions and lots of moments. But when the academy players came on, it was the exact same finish that we had to Redden. So uh, lots of work to do, lots of learning to do. And and players, I said everyone, staff, players, when we do have this time to reflect on the start of the season, we have to, you know, be honest with each other. We have to be honest with ourselves and we have to come back in uh, next week with, with a much better attitude, with much more desire to fight and compete. Uh, and that is going to be the foundation uh, for our season moving forward. How much of a concern for you is it, not just the number of goals being conceded, but the fact that it does seem to be one followed by another very quickly on a few occasions. Yeah, I think the goals tonight, I, there's so many academy players in the pitch, so I don't think that's a concern in the league moving forward. We obviously have to be better because our league form hasn't been good enough recently as well. But I think the goals tonight, the goals against Reading, uh, you know, there's a lot of academy players in, on the pitch at that moment. I think the first team players can try and regroup and try and stem the, the tide at that point. But uh, I don't think that's an issue moving forward in the league. I know you work closely with the guys at the academy and looking perhaps towards the future, will you want to be working even closer with them, perhaps getting these players more you know, to grips with the style of play that you try to introduce in the first team? Yeah, I think that's key. Uh, I think what we have to do is develop more resilient players. I think what we have to do is develop players who are ready to compete. And that's something we have to look at in the academy. We have to be better in, in tight situations. Uh, Arsenal were, I thought they were fantastic when they won the ball back. They were brilliant at passing and getting it out of trouble. They were brilliant when they were under pressure at dealing with contact and, and being able to win a duel, whether that be an attacking duel or a defensive duel. So, uh, lots for us to work on. They are a category one academy. We are a cat three academy. As I've said all along, it can't be used as an excuse. It has to be used as a, a challenge and it has to be used as something we want to aspire to be better. So we have to look at every single department and every single area of our development programme and, and see where we can make that better so that these players have a better opportunity in these games. Of course, the key to any academy player is to get a loan out to you know, a first team in, in the league. Were there Arsenal players there tonight that you perhaps have one eye on in January? Yeah, I thought they were good players. They... Like I said, they were ready to, to play the game. They were very strong in the duels. They were technically very good and they had some speed in the team. And, you know, it's, it's what we, we expected. But, uh, we have to look at ourselves and, and see areas where we can better, get better. I thought individually, Sweens was excellent. I thought Ed James had a, had a very good game and can be proud of his performance, but learn from moments within the game because he still has areas of the game he can improve, but he was, he was very good in a difficult match for him. And I thought Alfie Cunningham, when he came on as well, showed us signs of aggression, showed some uh, good forward play. Uh, but overall, we all have to uh, improve and be better. Ed James coming back, is, is that a hint at perhaps defensive cover? We know Jack Fitzwater was injured, Czech's still out. 
Yeah, it's something we'll look at. We might send him back out and loan. He wasn't playing for Western Supermare, and I think you know he can he can be really proud tonight. He played extremely well in a in a difficult match. Uh, there's areas of his game he can improve, but I thought he showed real signs of development that he that he's had since uh, pre-season. Uh, so we'll assess him individually and what's next for him. But uh, he can be happy with what he done tonight. We're replacing screens at half time purely just splitting the minutes. Yes, split the minutes and something that we wanted to give the players. I know it's a long way off November, but we're looking at that game against Swindon, the final one in this competition. Both teams are out. I mean, how do you think you approach that one? Because the record has obviously conceded 14, scored none. We're not going to want another repeat of what we've seen in the last two games. No, we don't, but we have to use it as a, a development competition. We have to obviously assess the first team where it is at that moment. Hopefully there's lots of players back. Maybe some of those players will need some minutes. We have to follow the rules of the competition. Uh, and we have to obviously give development players a chance to experience this and, and see where they are and see where their uh, improvement and their progression through the season is, is coming. It's another test, it's away from home, uh, so we'll probably approach it the exact same way. Final one for me, this is a competition where attendances are generally low, but nearly 3,500 here, plenty of Arsenal fans in as well. It was, it was a fantastic um, attendance and for this competition. Brilliant. Yeah, great attendance from our supporters, from, from Arsenal supporters, obviously, uh, coming to see the, the young players from Arsenal and, uh, it's an experience for our younger players that, that will stand them in good stead. They have to, you know, learn from it quickly and they have to, you know, come back and be ready to work hard. You see how far away we are from Arsenal. So that is the challenge and, and hopefully that motivates them to, to work extremely hard to be better. Thanks a lot. Thank you.